This video is about solving inequalities that have absolute value signs in them. Let's look at the inequality absolute value of x is less than 5 on the number line. Thinking of absolute value as distance, this means that the distance between x and 0 is less than 5 units. So x has to live somewhere in between negative 5 and 5. We can express this as an inequality without absolute value signs by saying negative 5 is less than x, which is less than 5. Or we can use interval notation, soft bracket, negative 5, 5, soft bracket. Both of these formulations are equivalent to the original one, but don't involve the absolute value signs. In the second example, we're looking for the values of x for which the absolute value of x is greater than or equal to 5. On the number line, this means that the distance of x from the 0 has got to be bigger than or equal to 5 units. A distance bigger than 5 units means that x has to live somewhere over here or somewhere over here, where it's farther than 5 units away from 0. Of course, x could also have a distance equal to 5 units, so I'll fill in that dot and shade in the other parts of the number line that satisfy my inequality. Now I can rewrite the inequality without the absolute value symbols by saying that x is less than or equal to negative 5 or x is greater than or equal to 5. I could also write this in interval notation, soft bracket negative infinity negative 5 hard bracket and the second part is hard bracket 5 infinity soft bracket. I combine these with a u for union because I'm trying to describe all these points on the number line together with all these other points. Let's take this analysis a step further with a slightly more complicated problem. Now I want the absolute value of 3 minus 2t to be less than 4. An absolute value less than 4 means a distance less than 4 on the number line. But it's not the variable t that lives in here at a distance of less than 4 from 0. It's the whole expression 3 minus 2t. So 3 minus 2t lives somewhere in here. And I can rewrite this as an inequality without absolute value signs by saying negative 4 is less than 3 minus 2t is less than 4. Now I have a compound inequality that I can solve the usual way. First I'll subtract 3 from all three sides to get negative 7 is less than negative 2t is less than 1. And now I'll divide all three sides by negative 2. Since negative 2 is a negative number, this reverses the directions of the inequalities. Simplifying, I get 7 halves is greater than t is greater than negative 1 half. So my final answer on the number line looks like all the stuff between negative a half and 7 halves, but not including the endpoints. And in interval notation, I can write this soft bracket negative a half, 7 halves, soft bracket. Please pause the video and try the next problem on your own. Thinking in terms of distance, this inequality says that the distance between the expression 3 minus 2t and 0 is always bigger than 4. Let me draw this on the number line. If 3 minus 2t has a distance bigger than 4 from 0, then it can't be in this region that's near 0. It has to be on the outside, in one of these two regions. That is, 3 minus 2t is either less than negative 4, or 3 minus 2t is bigger than 4. I'll solve these two inequalities separately. The first one, subtracting 3 from both sides, I get negative 2t is less than negative 7. Dividing by negative 2, I get t is bigger than 7 halves. And then on the other side, I get negative 2t is greater than 1, so t is less than negative 1 half. I had to flip inequalities in the last step due to dividing by a negative number. So let's check this out on the number line again. The first piece says that t is greater than 7 halves. So I'll draw that over here. And the second piece 
says that t is less than negative one half. I'll draw that down here. Because these two statements are joined with an or, I'm looking for the t values that are in this one or in this one. That is, I want both of these regions put together. So in interval notation, this reads negative infinity to negative one half, soft bracket, union, soft bracket, seven halves to infinity. This last example looks more complicated, but if I simplify first and isolate the absolute value part, it looks pretty much like the previous ones. So I'll start by subtracting seven from both sides, and then I'll divide both sides by two. Now I'll draw my number line, and I'm looking for this expression, 4x plus 5, to always have distance greater than or equal to negative 3 from 0. Wait a second. Distance greater than or equal to negative 3? Well, distance is always greater than or equal to negative 3. It's always greater than or equal to 0. So this, in fact, is always true. And so the answer to my inequality is all numbers between negative infinity and infinity. In other words, all real numbers. When solving absolute value inequalities, it's good to think about distance. An absolute value of something that's less than a number means that whatever's inside the absolute value signs is close to zero. On the other hand, an absolute value of something being greater than a number means that whatever's inside the absolute value sign is far away from zero because its distance from zero is bigger than a certain number. Drawing these pictures on the number line is a helpful way to rewrite the absolute value inequality as an inequality that doesn't contain an absolute value sign. In this case, it would be negative three is less than x plus two is less than three, and in the other case, it would be either x plus 2 is less than negative 3, or x plus 2 is greater than 3.